Today's talk is really about artificial intelligence, AI, uh, which is the acronym. Uh, many of you have heard about this thing called AI, uh, but may not fully understand what it is, except probably thinking there's gonna be a bunch of machines which are gonna take over your lives and we're gonna have robots walking around. And, um, and that's sort of you know the, the idea that you have R2D2s running around or the little robot that vacuum cleans for you. Um, but today we're gonna really get into uh, different aspects of AI, you know, sort of the popular idea of what AI is, the much more technical knowledge of what AI is. Um, you know, I've been involved in AI research since the 80s. You know, since I came to MIT, it's been one of my passions. I built a, a very large company out of it called Echo Mail, where we used to do AI for email analytics. Made a ton of money doing that. So it's an area I know a lot about. Um, and it's an area that I want to be able to share with you uh, for various reasons, because I believe that the mainstream media, as usual, will always distill something to something sort of useless that you may not really understand. The experts will try to mislead you into whatever the flavor of the day is. But what we want to do on this podcast is to really give you the foundations of um, AI and artificial intelligence. All right, before we go on, I wanna invite each of you to come to our next open house for Truth Freedom Health. I personally host the open house every Thursday at 11 a.m. EST and then again at 8 p.m. EST. You'll learn about Truth Freedom Health, which is a movement, a platform, as well as a community and much more. And we are dedicated to raising your consciousness through education, theory, and action practice. You'll learn how to think beyond left and right, pro and anti, so you may start to see things as they truly are and become a force for real and lasting change in your community. Again, to join us, simply RSVP at vashiva.com slash orientation. You'll meet lots of great people from across the world. Again, it's every Thursday at 11 a.m. EST and again at 8 p.m. EST. Simply RSVP at vashiva.com slash orientation. Be the light. Now let's go back to our program. What we want to do on this podcast is to really give you the foundations of um, AI and artificial intelligence. The field of AI um, is really about uh, fundamentally, how do you take um, human intelligence and replicate it using machines? That's what it's really about. So, um, so some very interesting terms I just used, human intelligence, the primary word there is intelligence. In podcast two, we talked about intelligence from a systems perspective. So one of the things we really need to do is define what is intelligence. Yeah. You know, before we talk about human intent, intelligence or artificial intelligence, and we'll get into some very deep issues of um, uh, what is the difference between a human and a machine? And even more deeper, aren't we all machines? So are we, what is the difference between artificial intelligence and human intelligence? We'll get into this. But fundamentally think about uh, a quote unquote intelligent activity a human does and being able to replicate that with a machine, right? So if you wanna to go to some very simple ideas of this, you could think about a calculator as a form of artificial intelligence, right? Um, when I was growing up in India, my great grandfather could do, you know, fractional multiplication in his head, you know, all different kinds of fractional multiplication because he had to know how to do that when he was farming and you had to, for commerce reasons. A lot of mathematics really came out of commerce. We didn't really need mathematics until we started to do commerce. Um, you had things like the abacus that people use for doing calculations faster. When computing came, we started developing chips. We started outsourcing some of those computations to a thing called a calculator. And so the calculator could do, you know, you know, 3 million, 200, 25,215 times 10 million, 315,235, you know, those kind of things fast. Now we could do it by paper, but we outsource that kind of computation, which was a human intelligent activity to a machine. So you can think about a calculator as a form of a machine that was able to do uh, those kinds of computations. It was a, a form of AI. Um, so what is AI from a technical perspective and when did it really start taking off? There's a field called cybernetics, um, which came out during the 20s, 30s in that period and um, led by a guy called Norbert Wiener. There were many other people, 
Uh, if you go to MIT and you walk down the halls, when I first came to MIT called the Infinite Corridor, there's a picture of this guy who looks like your typical nerd professor. He's a goatee, glasses, a little bit of a paunch belly and a suit. And that was Norbert Wiener. Norbert Wiener is known as the father of cybernetics or modern AI. And um, Norbert Wiener uh, is the one who started looking at the human body or the human being as a multi-tiered system. It's an electrical system. We have electricity running through us. It's a magnetic system. It's an electromechanical system. Uh, it's multiple systems. And the idea was, could you start building an engineering field and how you start developing um, machines which could replicate human function. And that was the field of cybernetics. And cybernetics um, brought in many, many different disciplines, not only physics, but it started bringing in a whole new field called information theory, led by a guy called Claude Shannon. It also brought in um, the field of systems theory, uh, general systems theory, thermodynamic theory, but it was a exciting period because it brought together many, many different fields. Because if you're going to recreate something like the human being, you have to bring in multiple fields. And so um, interesting enough, after Norbert Wiener really uh, uh, pioneered this field, he wrote a number of essays talking about how horrible <laughs> uh, artificial intelligence and cybernetics would be for humanity. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shiva Iduray. Before we continue with this, I want to just remind everyone that because of the massive censorship and shadow banning that still continues on social media platforms, I'd like you to click the link below to continue watching this on our own platform.